sunrise in my eyes Just like a new day A breath of fresh air in my life So, if we end up in five the rest Hand on my head, chest on my chest. Be my lover, yeah. be my best friend. I will wait on your border until you will let me in. Hand on my head. Just on match it. Today, Aaron and Brittany have both made an important decision to unite in marriage. Through all of the seasons of their individual journeys and unique lived experiences, they found one another. In the journey they now share together, they have grown deeper in love with one another, a love that has matured into a priceless and precious companionship. There is no greater joy than to walk through this world with another, sharing ourselves intimately and sharing all of the daily experiences that life presents. There's only one happiness in this life, to love and be loved, and coffee. She was the cream and he was her coffee, and when you put them together, it was really something. As Elizabeth Barrett Browning once said, I love you not only for what you are, but for, but for what I am with you. I love you not only for what you have made of yourself, but for what you are making of me. I love you for the part of me that you bring out. And most importantly, love doesn't make the world go round. Love is what makes the ride worthwhile. Okay, and the glass is sort of a symbol, you know, a symbol of marriage. Sometimes there's good, we've had a lot of good. Sometimes there's challenges. And with that, I'm going to ask Aaron and Brittany to break the glass. It's my great joy to be the first to introduce Aaron and Brittany as husband and wife partners for life. met as a result of, hey, we both got cerebral palsy, if you couldn't already tell. You know, there's a certain swagger to having CP, which I'm very proud of. Aaron rocks it very much when he, with the crutches now. When we were kids, one thing we'd do Saturday mornings, we'd wake up, we'd watch our favorite YTV programs. And you know station IDs in between commercials, they say if you have a complaint, please email Queen Street East, Toronto, Ontario, and that's all Aaron needed to hear. He got obsessed with Toronto. He had this fascination with Toronto. So Aaron got accepted into Ryerson and he moved there at 17 years old. I mean, that's insane, dude. So obviously he had the courage to try something different and he goes off to the school and he, and he gets his degree and I was secretly hoping that he would get his journalism degree and go, hey, I can work anywhere in the world. I'm a journalist now, I can go back to Vancouver, spend time with Marco. That didn't happen, no, didn't happen. I remember meeting Aaron for the first time and Brittany talking uh, afterwards and she was just so excited about him. It wouldn't stop talking about how great he was. Britt and Aaron have found a great partnership that will no doubt last a lifetime. Britt, I'm so happy for you and can't wait to continue to grow in life together and watch how everything unfolds. You found your life partner who you now get to call your husband and your special day that you both worked so far hard to bring to life is finally here. You two are so special to me and to everybody in this room, and I think you both know that. Um, we wish you guys all the best in this next adventure in life. Just think how crazy it is that you're officially husband and wife. Love you so much, and if everybody could raise a glass to the bride and groom. Cheers. Some of my wedding party is far away as Alberta and Kuwait. 
my mind is on it, honestly it's blown um, by having all you here, all you here, and I can't believe I've gotten to spend the day with all. Thank you so much, honestly. Thank you. You guys are amazing. There's only one time in your life when so many people that we love would be in the same room together. Thanks for everything today and for so many yesterdays before today. Oh. Thank you so much. Oh, wow.